you know, drop down to doing the out ones. Keep the three quarter. Because you got a near free. We're really not coming out of there. out of the ring. You're already rolled in the deer deer crap up there. Something oh, for dude. Get me right here. Got your furniture. Furniture covering blanket here. There you go. There you go. Get on that and lay down. <laughs> I'm under it. Come on. <clears throat> you don't need, you don't need to lay down. All right, <clears throat> boy, get out of the ring. All right, next. <clears throat> see what it says here, my tight here. Push the keys, turn on rod, thread, safety lash linkage, uh, canvas. This is already strong and ready to attach to the top of the legs before. Doing this, you must extend the chrome rod out far enough for the cables to reach. If you have the left on the lowest line, you will need to extend cables approximately 60 inches. Do not use the power unit to extend. Do not use power unit to extend the stone. Make sure all parts of the stone are open to allow for easy flow of air. Manually, and then by such as use a come along, pull the cylinder out 60 inches. Although the cylinder may be difficult to move at first, it is usually much easier once you get it to move. If you have a compressor, you can use air to extend the cylinder. Place the air into the back corner and work away from the chrome drive and blow air into the cylinder. After you extended the chrome rod, attach cables to the top caps in the legs. Make sure the cables cable is on poise. Place the nuts on top of the tent and tighten them together. Safety latch installation. Okay. Right now. <coughs> okay, so that's your column rail installation. Lay it. Lay down your columns and then position a cross rail on top of each column and then slide them in, just like we did. Saw the cross rails on the column by sliding the plastic rod blocks into the columns, channels. Safety glass must be positioned double side so it doesn't lock towards the outside and lift when you stand the column. Then we'll open the safety glass device on each side of the cross rail and then slide the cross rails down until they're at the bottom. So, um, and then another thing sitting on the bottom. Uh, stand, stand the cylinder columns up in position in the cave on your floor plan. The track installation. Start with the track 
with the cylinder, which is in there. This track will be located with the hose connection facing out towards the legs with the power unit bracket attached. No, power unit can be located in two locations shown. Okay, so we have one. Or you can have it over here. So, unfortunately, that's the way it wound up being put in is over there. <coughs> Which is fine because that's why I got my power, my power cords over there anyway. So I'm going to pull power cord over from over there instead of having it over on the far corner on this side. So, that's where it is. It's perfect. I just got to attach that in Alright, uh, I start with the track and the cylinder again, track and the hose is that was. And then, uh, let's see. So the connection facing outward, legs, and power unit bracket attached. No, power unit can be located in two locations. With an assistant, pick up the, and place one end of the main slide track on the cross rail. Then pick up and place the other end on the opposite cross rail. If you have three assistants, place both ends at the same time. This is a large screwdriver. Use a large screwdriver to align to align the mounting holes in the cross rails with the mount holes in the tracks. Do not level the tracks I bolt it. Install the mount bolts. Install the mounting bolts immediately. Install inch and a half, four inch mounting bolts and half inch washers through the ramp brackets and wheel stops. Make sure the bolt heads are on the flat side, flat side of the bracket. Install two ramp brackets and two you can install the two ramp brackets and two wheel stops with bolts and washers as you secure the main side track to the cross rail. Secure the bolts with the half inch washers and nuts. Place, place hand tight. Now install the offset track and again secure with ramp brackets wheel stops with the bolts. After each tracks are installed, tighten the bolts to 45 foot pounds. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, so that has gotta be it's gotta be these things here. These are your ramp ramp lock brackets. That's those two. And that's going to be those both there. Okay, let's put your real bolts. Ramp bracket bolts. Okay, so that's what I need to do right now is I need to get the uh, cables, cables run and uh, we'll go from there.
get these cables going in the direction they need to go. Yes. This one here is going over here, this one, once it's flipped over. Okay. I'm glad he marked it. This is going to be right front. So this is going to be back over here. On this side. It's flipped over. Any, anywhere on it. Good. No scratches, no pits. Cylinder's not leaking. Flipped over slowly. You know, get something with more than I do. See much I can actually. 
locking locker that's under there. It's going up from there. So it's dry. I think I think this can be installed after we get it. Mm -hmm. Huh, yeah. 